Hello, I'm Superintendent Edward Lee Vargas of the Kent School District. We have a great school district that is well known for our high academic standards, our wonderfully diverse communities, and our international leadership in the integration of technology into classroom instruction. But schools aren't successful without community involvement, and one of the most important ways citizens can be involved in their local schools is to vote in the special elections that are held for school levies and bonds. On January the 22nd, area voters will receive mail-in ballots for two school levy propositions for the February 11th special election. The following information will provide you with the facts about each proposal. Proposition 1 replaces our current four-year educational programs and operations levy. Proposition 2 replaces our current four-year technology levy. Please review the information so you can cast an informed vote and feel free to call our levy hotline at 253-373-7001 or log on to ksdlevy.org for more information. Thank you for participating in our democratic process by voting and thank you for being part of the Kent School District. The Kent School District is successfully preparing all students for their futures and the district is led by an award-winning school board with a laser-like focus on student learning. Guided by a robust strategic plan, the district involves community, staff, parents, and students in multiple pathways to success. The Kent School District has been recognized nationally and internationally for student achievement, financial management, innovative technology, and most importantly, has tripled the number of schools listed as good or very good by Washington State. On February 11, 2014, there will be a special election held on the Replacement Educational Programs and Operations Levy and the Replacement Technology Levy. The two measures will require voter approval in the mail-in election. Both of these measures replace levies that expire in 2014. Ballots will begin arriving at voters' homes on January 22nd. Proposition 1 is a four-year replacement levy that will provide 20 to 24 percent of the district's annual operational revenue. Levy funds will be used to meet the focused priorities of current operations and corresponding restoration of programs and services lost over the past four years due to state and federal budget cuts. Proposition 2 is a four-year replacement levy that allows Kent School District to continue paying for the cost of maintaining classroom technology tools used by our students and teachers on a daily basis. That technology includes interactive whiteboards, projectors, technology devices for elementary students, laptops for all middle and high school students, and teacher laptops. It also replaces the outdated classroom technology equipment. Examples of Proposition 1's impact improve safety and security at elementary schools, reduce overcrowding in classrooms, clean and well-maintained schools and classrooms, music programs such as fifth grade band and strings, middle school athletic programs, new textbooks and additional classroom supplies, classes for real-world job training, school bus services, special education services, and substitute teachers. Examples of Proposition 2's impact are new mobile computing devices for elementary students, elementary computer replacement, teacher laptop replacement, middle school laptop replacement, and high school student laptop replacement. What is taxpayer cost for these two levies? With voter approval of these replacement levies, the local school district portion of the property tax on a home valued at $250,000 would be an average annual increase of $246 each year over the four-year duration of the levies. Senior citizens or disabled persons may qualify for tax exemption from special levies. For more information, please contact the King County Senior Disabled Persons Exemption Program at 206-296-3920. Watch for ballots in your mailbox starting on January 22nd, and remember, there are two separate propositions. Proposition number one, the Educational Programs and Operations Levy, and proposition number two, the Technology Levy. This election is by mail-in ballot only. Remember to send in your ballot by February 11, 2014. Thank you for voting. If you have questions, please contact us at 253-373-7001 or visit us at ksdlevy.org.